next case on the docket, Brittany Griner, WNBA player, has been uh, detained in Russia uh, because, you know, she tried to bring some weed pack, uh, liquid weed back to the country, yada, yada, yada. So now, well, one of the things that is uh, bubbling up in this conversation, again, is the fact that the reason why she was in Russia is because she... Um, she plays basketball in Russia because the WNBA players can make significantly more uh, playing overseas than they can in America. So now the conversation has come up. Well, they need to pay the WNBA players more. It makes no sense they paying these men what they paying them, but these WNBA players... Is... Listen, I'm all for equal pay for women. I'm all... But I think it's equal pay for equal day's job. And the WNBA, unfortunately, is not equal to the NBA. So they cannot get the contracts that the NBA players make. The NBA generates over $400 million a year in revenue. Over $400 million. The WNBA is losing money every year. And for people that don't know it, the NBA subsidizes the WNBA's budget and revenue stream to make sure that they are still able to operate. So don't say that they deserve equal pay because they don't. And it's not a matter of deserving it. The league cannot justify paying them even close to what they pay the men because they're not generating the type of revenue to justify higher salaries. So you can feel how you want to feel about it, be in your feelings and say this is a man. It's not a man against woman thing. This is simple economics. The supply does not meet the demand. The demand for women WNBA basketball is not as high as the demand for men's basketball. That is simple economics. You ain't got to be a smart person. None of those types of things to understand what this is about. Now again, do I think that uh, given, the, I think, but I think that this is one of those type of things where the businesses have to do better. Like, I think, uh, and I don't want to take credit for this. I had a conversation with a comedian named Two Ray, and Two Ray had an idea that I think would be wonderful. I think he said that lower the women's rim, and uh, so women, it makes it easier for women to dunk. And if you make it easy for women to dunk in games, now you add the dunk element, which is one of the highlighted elements that's missing from their game and it now puts it closer to being on par with men's basketball. I think that's a great idea. Uh, but they don't want to do that. So don't talk to me about raising their pay if you're not willing to do things to make the game look significantly more similar to the men's game, thus probably pushing revenue higher. I find people who are making this argument guilty of being ignorant of the situation. I find you guilty of not truly understanding how money works. And I find you guilty of trying to push a product and push pay of people who... Uh, and, and I find you guilty of trying to take advantage of a situation that has nothing necessarily to do with the economics of the WNBA. Next case! Seems that uh, this is the last case on the docket for the day. So if there's no further business with the court for the day, bailiff, we can adjourn.